Welcome again to another video with Shanga Sports Academy. Shanga Sports Academy is a academy tranche or subsidiary of the Shanga Sports itself. And so with Shanga Sports Academy, as you know from the YouTube channel, we have multiple videos on different areas and sectors of, of cybersecurity, specifically pen testing. And this video is going to briefly cover SSL scan. A lot of tools out there like Tenable Nessus, Qualys, and other tools can be used to uncover TLS weaknesses and vulnerabilities. But Sometimes when you're testing, you want more than one resource as a secondary form of validation. And I also go into further detail with secondary validation and actually manual pen testing in one of the courses on the Academy site. The Academy site is academy.strongestsports.com and I go into further detail with the importance of secondary validation, manual pen testing. And in Parrot, Parrot SOS has multiple tools that can verify and discover particularly TLS weaknesses and within the Cypher suite. Now, let's say you don't have Nessus at your disposal Let's say you don't have a commercial solution. What are your options? So in Catalytics and Pair OS has a few things you can use. In this video, I am uncovering briefly how to use SSL scan. So with Pair OS, there are more there's more than one way to literally start the tool. You can type the terminal or you can click on it via menu. So here, sorry, typos, this can happen. So here, here I have SSL scan. I have prompted them via my terminal and the screen shows a nice list of options that are available to use and tinker with SSL scan. One of the more common options usually evolves around the TLS options, starting with TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, .1, and so on. It is highly unlikely but it can happen where SSL3 somehow is enabled. If it is, that is an enormous problem. But in most cases, the greater focus point is on the particular ciphers that are enabled when you're running SSL scan and get your particular IP address or server. Now I brought the tool using the terminal. Via the menu brings a similar response. So with a pair OS, let's start with information gathering, SSL analysis, asking for my password, and now I'm at a very exactly the same menu as going through the terminal. So as an example, this video is going to point SSL scan against example.com. So And the output is increasing, is going through the options that are available. I will hit Control C because I particularly don't really want to go through the entire option list within SSL scan. 
So Control C brings it to a, a abrupt stop. But as mentioned earlier with the SSL TLS protocols, which TLS is transport skirt, and T TLS is known pretty much for HTTPS. So with the protocols that this SSL scan is looking at, you can see SSL v2 and v3 are disabled, which is a great thing, which is not such a good thing, is TLS v1.0 is enabled, 1.1 is enabled. 1.2, of course, is it's okay. 1.3 is the current protocol. Now, there are also many of, us, of us situations where you can have a legacy environment or an environment that still implements what you call end of life product and an end of life product may have TLS v1.0 that's enabled and one of the reasons you may uncover why 1.0 is enabled is because there isn't an opportunity to actually implement TLS 1.2 so if there is a hindrance or a temporary inability to upgrade to 1.2, it is highly possible to find 1.0 still enabled. I have seen it in over the years for doing penetration testing, and right now it can still occur. Right now in this current age, there are many, many environments across the world that are still implementing 1.0 believe it or not so using SSL scan is a great way to find secondary proof of of cipher suites that have been implemented on your target is a great thing to use when you want to have an extra piece of backup when you're running scans through a other commercial solution so you know with more sure confidence that there are no false positives. And as mentioned earlier, I go into further detail with in the academy in a course called manual penetration testing, when I uncover the importance of secondary validation, how to use scripts to perform validation and those things. So I go into further detail um, in regards to how to do this. So this is SSL scan with with Pair OS. Pair OS is loaded. It's not overloaded. It's loaded enough to have tools that work, tools that are essential, tools that are sufficient that will provide you with what you need when you are executing an engagement. So. This concludes this video. It's the Strongest Sports Academy. Check out the previous videos of the YouTube channel. There are more videos that are going to be uploaded real soon on the YouTube channel. So subscribe. Check them out. Uh, there will be part twos to some of the previous videos. So there will be links and directions on, on what to expect in those particular videos as well. So, happy testing.